This is the Meerkat in for D7 with the broad market review for August 31st, 2015. Well, bullish or bearish day on Wall Street, a little bit of a bearish day. It tried to struggle back to get to positive, but just could not hold on. Let's take a look here at the numbers. Here we've got the SPY down uh, 0 0.87, the Dow down 0 0.69, the Qs were down 1.3%, leading the way down, and the small cap Russells were lagging with uh, minus 0 0.38. The banks were actually up 0.33, that's a little more bullish than bearish. And we had the VIX up 3% confirming the move down. Silver and gold, uh, they just kind of stayed the same. But here's the big story of the day. The oil up 6% on the day. Uh, we'll take a look at that chart a little bit later. And uh, then the trend, uh, it closed at uh, 0 0.93. Uh, in the neutral zone. So let's take a look here at the chart. Uh, first of all, the S&PY, which is the ETF on the S&P, and look at this. If you remember on Des's weekend video, we talked about this Fibonacci retracement, and it came right back up to the 61.8, which is a major line of resistance. So it fell, it pulled all the way back up here. It looks to me like it's setting up for what we call a bear pullback could go back down and test these lows. So I am uh, currently, I am flat the market, but I am ready to load up on my shorts if we get another confirmation day to the downside tomorrow. And let's take a look here at the Dow Jones Industrials uh, doing the uh, DIA. Again, same thing, fell down here. It's rolling over here, folks. It's rolling over. Then there's the NASDAQ. It fell down the most today. And then the small cap Russell. Uh, it didn't quite turn down as much. It actually had an inside day here. Uh, so it's looking a little more bullish here on the small caps. But let's take a look at that oil. USO. Here's USO daily chart. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Three days of just rocketing. Just rocketing. So that's since last Thursday. We've had a rocket in there. So have we found the lows? We do not know. But now it's hitting its head here on the 20 moving average had a really big trade on oil this morning by using one of the leveraged ETFs on the uh, uh, CL uh, futures contract for oil. If you can take a look at my posted video here right next to the uh, broad market review and I think you'll be surprised at how just a very simple trading pattern turned out with some very big results. This was the last day of the month so let's take a look here at the markets by segment and look at this here. This is finviz.com. We have one day, one week, but let's take a look at one month since we've just completed the month and look at this. All oh, red, yeah, red, red, red. Healthcare down 8% for the month uh, and the utilities down 4.2. And that was the best of the month. So it was a down month. In fact, the NASDAQ was down the most that it has been since 2012 in one month. It's definitely in a we're starting to roll bad to bearish it looks like so be sure that you have your positions protected if you're long and get ready to put on your shorts this is the meerkat now look it's much better to be not in a trade wishing you were in than being in a trade wishing you were out trade well